Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devri. I am a digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q&A section and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q&A session at the end of the webinar to answer to your questions. Now, I would like to welcome Murli and Milin. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar, how to enable intelligent warehouse management with SAP RFID and barcode enablement. Murli is a Sales and Operations Director for Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry serving, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, healthcare and IT industries. At present, he is working closely with various automation projects in India. We also have Milan with us. He is Director Enterprise Application at Crave Infotech with 17 plus years of industry experience in core SAP ECC and S4 HANA P2P LE WMS EWM delivery project management and solution architect. Now, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Murli to start with the presentation. Over to you, Murli. So thank you, Nikita. Thanks for a short intro and welcome you all to today's webinar of Crave Infotech. Uh, in fact, uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning wherever you are, because people are joining from different geographies. So uh, today's uh, discussion will be mainly on the intelligent warehouse and with uh, RFID enablement, RFID barcode or QR code. Um, so before just um, turning to the subject, I wanted to take this opportunity to take uh, you quickly about the organization, who we are, what we do. Just I'll check a few minutes, couple of minutes, just to brief you about the Crave Infotech, which will help you for uh, a further one-to-one -one interaction during <clears throat> future course of uh, interaction. So uh, this is about Crave Infotech. I hope, Nikita, my screen is visible to all, right? So uh, yes. this is this uh, short uh, in, uh, introduction of the organization, the journey of the Crave Infotech from 2007 to 2021. We are 13 years old organization, operational from 2007. And right from day one, we are associated with uh, um, ACP very closely. In fact, our head office is in New Jersey from where we started and we uh, started our partnership with SAP from North America. And then eventually we grown up, we expanded our services uh, globally, uh, had office in India, op also have operational offices in Brazil and Africa. And then we also uh, expanded it in the offerings in terms of offerings other than SAP just services of the SAP, but we also have our own digital transformation solutions. Uh, many of them are on SAP App Center as well. Whatever we do mainly in SAP space because we are associated with them very closely right from day one, but we also work with non-SAP customers as well. Um, so we uh, have multiple uh, digital transformation solutions and I will brief about that. During this journey, we also have uh, some uh, prestigious awards to our credit, like SAPS award, um, uh, Pinnacle finalist, and so on. So um, this is the growth map, um, future roadmap of the organization. In 2022, we are uh, focusing in SAP BTP, EAM, EWM. These are the focused portfolios. And from here, in next three years, we will be uh, expanding our capacities, geographies, and services. So this is just for understanding of everybody over here, how we'll be expanding. So as I mentioned, SAP working closely with SAP, but other, along with SAP, we are also associated with Zebra as an ISV and reseller, premium partner. Zebra is mobile computing devices manufacturer, global leader. And we are also working with here technology. They are geo enablement solution provider globally. 
uh, Amazon Web Services and Google uh, have all needful certifications from quality deliverables perspective ISO 9001, 27001 and uh, awards I just mentioned uh, in SAP and non-SAP space. So um, as I mentioned, we have 50 plus pre-package applications which are available on SAP App Center, all these use cases, serve multiple industries and multiple um, companies uh, uh, for various functionalities. The five focused verticals we have is intelligent asset management, intelligent warehouse management, which we will discuss today in detail and uh, supply chain, digital supply chain automation and business technology platform. So in intelligent asset management, we have complete end-to-end -end portfolio, right from um, SAP EM offerings like PM SM implementation, asset manager, work manager, to the further mobility part in terms of preventive uh, breakdown, general, ma general maintenance applications, calibration application, and so on. And along with that, in digital supply chain, other than warehouse, we also have certain modules like proof of delivery, uh, truck loading, truck latency, uh, yard management, and so on. So, uh, and in business technology platform, again, we are working closely with SAP to keep your S4 clean, help you for side-by-side -side extensions, design thinking, and process automation, working, um, uh, on SAP IRPA for various analytics part mainly, workflows, work zone, and uh, conversational AI. So uh, we, we, of course, we, we can brief you on all the complete portfolio in one-on-one -on -one interaction further. So uh, these, these are the products and services. In products, I just mentioned that the various focused verticals we have. And in services, we also work for SAP staff augmentation, BTP enablement, Fury enablement, uh, SAP, SMP to BTP, uh, SAP mobile services earlier, uh, the name was to so BTP, business technology platform migration, and SAP ERP, uh, S4 or um, ECC uh, implementation, customization, migration, and uh, support. So these are products and services combination. And this is the complete portfolio of digital transformation solutions. We, I was talking about almost 50 plus solutions we have on App Center. And you will find that we are touching almost every functionality of the organization from plant, shop floor to uh, vendor side automation, customer side automation, dashboards, approvals, HR automation, and so on. So this is uh, uh, the brief short uh, in short, the intro of the organization. And with this, I will uh, come to today's agenda. We will be talking more about uh, intelligent warehouse management, how, how to enable warehouse with barcode or QR code and RFID. And how, of course, it will help the, uh, the SAP as well as the mobile application with all this barcode QR code enablement, how it will help to increase the ROI, reduce the cost, and to minimize certain challenges we face. So, uh, of course, um, um, when we talk about the uh, intelligent solution, we also need to cover uh, first what are the challenges, trends, and drivers in this technology today, in this warehouse automation today. So, <clears throat> I'll just quickly take you through the common challenges in warehouse operations. And I, I'm sure you all are facing these challenges in your day-to-day -day operations. Uh, redundant procedure with time-consuming labor tasks. This is, the, this is increasing the ine inefficient time management of warehouse workforce. Then inaccuracy and inefficiency in handling inventory, mainly because of uh, many of the activities, uh, the, uh, there is no system intelligence in place and which ends up in uh, inaccurate inventory, uh, causes problems such as maintaining improper stock levels, uh, built ups of absolute inventory and um, uh, it is increasing the cost and reducing the revenues uh, because of no timely delivery for certain things. 
difficult to manage stocking and picking orders with diverse product portfolio this is when you have number of skus we are working with the organization which are which are having skus in thousands or so uh, so we uh, when we work uh, when the entire activity is manual right from picking the orders uh, definitely then um, you face lots of issue and we try to minimize all those things using the complete automated solution so yes so isolated systems and internal external visibility gaps which we discussed labor shortages and more volume which again we discuss especially in pandemic the uh, there are lots of pressure on warehouse management disconnected workers and workflows bottleneck and assets uh, inventory blind spots rising workflow complexity and uh, errors and non compliance so these are the typical challenges in today's work uh, warehouse management and we also need to see the trends right when we are discussing the challenges the trends are especially in this post pandemic situation we have to discuss customer expectations outside the warehouse demand more and so the there is high pressure in inside the warehouse to process more this is this is what we are observing nowadays order volume is at all time high and days have turned into hours and picking accuracy is vital that also we are observing post pandemic and then omnichannel transactions increasing skus um, uh, customer demands call for efficiency across warehouse workflows are the uh, trends so what is important is creating profitable omnichannel operation is a critical then accuracy accurate inventory is vital to ensure customers get the product they want uh, the accurate inventory the visibility again you know because uh, complete visibility of order placement to delivery that is important and uh, the tracking of the activity in instant access and availability Uh, to track the entire operation these are all very important aspects becoming very important aspects in warehouse management so what is that the complete uh, um, maturity model of warehouse management when we talk about the digital warehouse so there are three and this you 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 can see this in this is the complete diagram in which we sense we analyze and we automate so in sense we use all these barcode qr code locationing sensors uh, for uh, sensing of the data then analyze it to, with worker driven transactional data sensor driven real time data and then uh, automate it so for automation optimize use of mobility uh, real time visibility widespread use of real time visibility and uh, achieve predictive and uh, adaptive operations so this becomes the complete warehouse maturity model now we will uh, uh, showcase the uh, offering of crave infotech in which we are covering all these areas when we talk about the complete hardware portion of that the uh, sap layer and then the software automation through uh, the mobile application uh, i i request uh, milin to uh, take over from here for briefing about the solution craving product has and the demo of the application uh, thank you uh, yes uh, uh, thank you murli uh, for providing me this opportunity uh, so i will just share my screen okay so are you able to see my screen Uh, yes Hello? we can see. the screen is visible mainly okay so uh, i'm going to talk about the intelligent warehouse management uh, using sap uh, and creo prepackage solution more than 50 prepackage solution and how it increased the efficiency of the warehouse and uh, it's uh, increased the definitely productivity so we'll go step by step so this uh, slide currently if you see left hand side this is what the creo warehouse mobile application okay so as i said we have 20 plus 50 plus uh, uh, warehouse applications uh, which is revolving around inbound operation and outbound operation <clears throat> in transit or cross docking 
uh, whereby the goods are received in the good receiving area and instead of going into bin it will directly dispatch to customer so uh, and we also have the uh, internal process so crave warehouse mobile applications and then processes like inbound outbound cross dockings and cycle counting so among that the main uh, area of operation what we are focusing on the warehouse automation or intelligent warehouse so what are the type of warehouse so no matter if you have the production warehousing no matter we have the distribution warehousing whereby sales and distribution teams uses that to dispatch to the customer you have the storage and operation uh, and as i said the production warehousing whereby you are issuing the goods to the production and then finished goods are good recepted so all the warehouse operation revolving around our apps and our apps has a definite solution for this so we have the end to end erp solution uh, majorly as uh, uh, morli also explained then we are morely focus on the sap as a back end if you have the sap ecc whereby you have the warehouse management system hosted on the sap ecc because it's a part and parcel of that we have the solution of a crew mobile application so we can implement that if you have s4 hana on premises 2021 no matter whether it is a 2020 or 1909 and uh, even though if it is a decentralized or embedded we have a solution for the crew warehouse mobile application if you have the sap s4 hana on cloud embedded ewms we have no limitation or constraint by implementing our mobile application so um, all the sap uh, end to end warehouse erp application you have the complete visibility uh, what are the mobile application so these are the mobile application we will talk uh, these uh, after couple of minute and i will explain you uh, what is this mobile device all about and what this function uh, we have the uh, voice picking solutions we have the site survey one of our customer when we implemented our warehouse management system they complain that the uh, you know our uh, rfids and our mobile device was not working properly when we visited the warehouse we observed that there are uh, wifi intermingling interference so uh, we provide them a solution so in other world what we do is we do the site survey and provide the right solution we have the voice uh, activated order picking we have other uh, order picking system so whenever we are talking about the picking methodology then there are uh, various types see earlier uh, i mean in the uh, 10 15 year back we have what is called as the paper based picking whereby the warehouse operator gets uh, a pick list and then that pick list guide him to go to the bin and then he pick the materials and then drop to the good issue area chronologically <clears throat> year by year there are great improvement it is replaced by the electronic system called as the handheld device will and these are the handheld device basically we'll talk more on that in a couple of minute handheld device also we have to scan the barcodes and then a system will guide you where to go now these are uh, again there is uh, some improvement area like the light display uh, with the bin so uh, the bin gets elim elim eliminated by scanning so the after couple of year there is a, a, a system called as the voice activated order picking or pick by voice so you will get uh, the system will tell you over uh, that where to go and uh, what to pick glass picking which is a recent past year it's a, a great innovation so speed flexibility is high picking densities and precise picking is the main focus area of that Uh, what is called as the order picking by smart glasses or pick by vision so it's a great principle is one principle there is one one look one scan and one pick with both hand free and the picker picks the order so uh, this is the thing and this is again hand free picking whereby uh, our mobile device they can uh, tied on a, a forearm and with the finger tip they can scan the barcode uh, and that's it everything will uh, the all the operation will happens in the back end system we have the printing module what you call it as a printing device and this is a barcode so we can scan this barcode we can fire the printing uh, uh, using uh, uh, you know mobile device and this is a four clip whereby we can mount the rfid we will also talk more on the rfid today and then we can scan this 
uh, these are basically the uh, our uh, devices this is uh, ipad mobile devices zebra devices and this is rf device uh, this is another version of rf device so we can download all the applications on all the devices uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, you know scan it or uh, you can press particular buttons and perform the operation using the devices so what are the advantage of this so it's a hundred percent paperless 30 percent increase in productivity up to 80 percent reduction in pcos and 80 percent efficiency in following up job uh, this rf device we have the partnership with the zebra as well as the sap and these devices are well validated so there is no threat of draining the battery we can continuously use this RF device uh, more than five hours and we can keep this on charging while going home and even after two days the battery will not be overcharged because it will be cut off and this is all the validated so uh, one of our leading multinational company we have implemented this uh, uh, zebra devices and the warehouse operation across the 19 countries and 39 location uh, it is operating and functionally well so till now we have not received any complaint from them uh, in a couple of uh, minutes i will show you a demo in the system how our rf device works so before that would like to throw some light on our success story uh, so these are where we are basically the warehouse where the uh, the you know, materials were kept helter skelters not in the proper way we implement the warehouse management in mro spare part and arrange everything in a sequential way and this is a barcode so we can scan it and we'll get all the uh, information so in a, uh, in a couple of minutes i will show you a demo uh, how it look like and uh, it has uh, you know uh, many benefits uh, manual effort get reduces you know reduce operation cost and optimal inventory so these are some of the benefits uh, these are the scanning devices uh, this is a printer scanning devices and uh, we also have the rfid we'll talk uh, more on that <clears throat> these are the handheld device so handheld device are basically two type this is handheld device this is a device whereby we can scan and this is a RFID reader. We'll talk more on the RFID in a couple of minutes. And this is non-handheld device. If it is not handheld, it is called as unattended. And if it is handheld, we call it as attended. So both are useful. Normally in the bins and the rack uh, staging area, we can scan these. And in the terminal, whereby the goods are coming inside the gate, outside the gate, then we mount this on a gate, which we call that as a RFID unattended. Uh, this is a DCS portfolio. So what is DCS? It is called a distributed control system or decentralized control system. Uh, this is a, a high level view uh, definition. Uh, distributed control systems or we can call it a decentralized control system. The terms are uh, interchangeably used. Uh, earlier it used to call it decentralized but nowadays we call it a distributed. What it does? So it's supervise and coordinates entire plant of many uh, varying processes it's a uh, you know upper version of the plc whereby there is a continuous process and then captures uh, the data in a graphical display you call it a scada uh, but this is the improved version this is not a scada but it's an improved version and all the operations here will be monitored by the it area see this is outbound truck okay this is outbound truck and these are the bins okay this is the four clip this forklift pick up the uh, pallet from this bin. The heart of this system is called something uh, is called as the RFID, radio frequency ID. What is this RFID system? So RFID has four parts. RFID tag, which could be active or passive. Active RFID tag is something is called has it has its own power supply, or and emit the signal. And passive RFID, which has no power supply. We have the antenna which receives the signal from the RFID tag and there is a and pass into the RFID reader. So RFID reader is continuously emitting the signal. So I will show you the diagram and a quick demo of how RFID works. Okay, so the picture will be more clear to you. But this is in fact a, a RFID system which is the heart which is mounted on various places and uh, this forklift uh, uh, operator picks the materials and this is the gate so this is what i was talking about the non-handheld uh, rfid 
it is mount on these terminals and the goods are passed through these and scan and loaded into truck and here we also have the model called as the truck latency the goods are you know uh, uh, the parking slot or uh, the goods are uh, what is the truck slot everything is get monitor until it goes to the customer premiser and customer sign up what is called as the proof of delivery and we also have apps for that which call it as electronic proof of delivery everything is controlled and monitored in it area so this is another uh, warehouse application or the warehouse area whereby we use the application this is a uh, your assembly line and the goods are moved from the one place to another place and this is a scanner and everything is monitored by this uh, uh, it area so this is another version of dcs uh, so everything is controlled this is a uh, inbound operation basically so inbound truck comes and this is a, uh, a trolley uh, or we call it as a <clears throat> trolley operator and it's pick up the materials and keep it in the bin scan it and uh, all operation is monitors here now i'm going to show you a real demo of how rfid works <laughs> This is, uh, this is called as the uh, RFID reader, continuously emitting signal. The gate is open here and this is a truck and this is RFID tag. This is basically RFID tag. Now it's scan, it's emitting the signal, it scan this RFID which could be active or passive. Okay, when it is scanned, uh, all the data gets feed back into the system and this gate gets closed. Arrival time, departure time of trucks, and at what time it comes, and what is the truck number, vehicle number, everything is monitored and uh, you know recording in the system. So we have inbound delivery or outbound delivery, and we can record this uh, and manage in the back end. So these are something the features, scanning the data, reading the data. Uh, so this is what the RFID is all about. Uh, now I will show you the demo but uh, before that i would like uh, a question paul so uh, nikita you can take it over so by the time you take it over for the question paul i will start my uh, demo yeah sure i am sharing the question poll yeah uh, the poll questions uh, are launched i request everyone to uh, please answer uh, the questions The first question we have is, are you facing any challenges in a current warehouse management activity due to manual process? Uh, second question is, are you planning to digitize your current inventory or warehouse management process? And uh, our third question is, would you like to have a detailed discussion with our team for Crave CWMS solution? Nikita, let me know when I uh, could share my screen. Uh, yes, we'll wait for a minute and then uh, you can start take over. I'll, just, I'll let you know. Sure. Uh, yes, Milan, you can start. I'll end the poll in a minute. Okay. So, guys, what I was talking about, we have the uh, prepackaged solution or Fiori apps. Okay. So, we have all and sundry apps. Okay. Uh, supply chain management or the enterprise access management, approvals, IoT. So, you name the uh, business process and we have apps for that. If we do not have the app, then we have an ability to develop it in a uh, environment, uh, Fiori environment or UI environments, which could be uh, Android native or Fiori based and backend is an app. So we have this application, uh, Fiori applications. Um, we have the application like truck latency, which I was talking about whereby we can monitor uh, everything. So what are the goods and then uh, outbound delivery goods. So I am just clipping. So this is the token number, okay? Delivery number, vehicle. So this is the status: vehicle in, parking, loading starts, and loading in. Okay, loading in. 
so every stage is monitoring we can monitor everything and if you want we can add more uh, screen into this more field into the depend on the your requirement so our vehicles in okay and now this is the outbound delivery number and we have this atom number and then we can get the uh, uh, inventory of all the atoms how many atoms are there in outbound delivery so we have to click next okay and then assign this assign the b assignment and assign that's it now here you will observe that warehouse operator doesn't have to use his intelligence he doesn't have to think what he has to do everything is there see now this is the screen as a layman what is to be done next thing which i have to do so everything is there i can just select it okay if we want the warehouse so these are the operator basically labor assignment so if this labor is assigned to this i can just uh, assign it to uh, this order this token number so this is basically the vehicles vehicle comes in a yard and then deliveries are being loaded gang assignment so if it is eight physical checklist so i have to just press this physical entry so there is no intelligence uh, special intelligence required for the labor to perform the operation to perform the processes truck is free of foreign materials he can let just check it yes yes if there is something wrong he can reject it okay and then truck goes back so goods will not be loaded into that so bottom uh, of uh, tarpaulin is well placed or not okay everything is there loading start okay now you can start the loading so these are the quantity you can change the quantity let's say you have enter everything weight length height extra everything you can enter you can enter the comment all okay and then loading end okay once the loading ends then he can driver signature so the driver has signed this next quality person who uh, who initially perform the check of vehicles quality or any quality of goods while dispatching the material to the customer premises he can sign he can uh, enter the comment and he will also sign this and submit so are you want to submit yes now this token number uh, which was there earlier which has gone and we also have all the list here the token number and if you want to remove from the list just simply press enter yeah click it it will go away so this is what is called a truck latency so simple so there is no uh, um, sap screen these screens are user friendly and then labor or the warehouse operator doesn't have to use his intelligence so we have inventory management app this is what we are talking about intelligent warehouse management so whenever we are talking about any warehouse management operation okay uh it's not working okay okay i will show you another app yes so if i check the inventory management okay so normally in any warehouse we have inbound operation outbound operation and internal transfer so we have apps for everything so if we have inbound process good receipt good reversal good return put away so good receipt so good receipt by inbound delivery good receipt by purchase order what are the purchase order so we have to just give the name Uh, the date range and then you will get all the purchase order inbound receipt inbound delivery also you can get it just give the uh, date range and you will get the inbound delivery so i will show you this in details in next warehouse management app we can uh, use it for the inventory management but the focus is on warehouse because we are talking more about the intelligent warehouse management so this is inbound operation you can also go to reverse then goods returns put away everything we can do using this app outbound process again we have the uh, outbound delivery order just we have talk about the picking strategies or the picking methodologies paperless picking whereby directly we can pgi the goods or pick the goods 
so if you want to pj the good then use the date range and then you will get the delivery from and to okay so that you can do using this i will show you now the warehouse management apps uh, which we have developed uh, for one of our customer okay so this is the kind of screen user gets so user uh, has to log in username and password so need not be the sap user uh, but uh, we can create a sap user id or non sap user uh, will be also able to log into the system so he can log into the system he will have the multiple option he has print option reprint option put away and all so i will show one by one now let's see good receipt have happens in the warehouse so he has to print the uh, because he has to scan it if you want to intelligent warehouse management then we have to scan something so this is the good receipt uh, list now those days has gone whereby the user or the warehouse labor has to go to the warehouse cabin and then the warehouse foreman or the supervisor take the print outs and give to the user the user will go inside the warehouse scan it so this has gone now it is replaced with the electronic system user will directly get the gr and what are the gr list that also depends on the warehouse supervisor if he want to assign the 3 4 operations or more operation more gr list then he can assign it so if he want to print the uh, label he has to just click it and then he can uh, preview it whether he wants the uh, labels in what fashion he want the uh, large uh, quantity large uh, uh, or small or medium type so he can view it and he will print it see he can print it so just few clicks only three clicks he will be able to print the label for example now now once he click once he print the label it has gone from his list Uh, i will show you another example this is a good receipt he has to click it one click then print it second click qr label printed just within a two click he will be able to print there is no long procedure like in migo transaction output determination configures so everything has go away now now once the label is printed then he will be able to paste the labels into the boxes pallets Uh, if the label is uh, spoiled because of certain reason, then we have the reprint option. Reprint option also he will get the uh, GR list which is assigned to him, and he will have the reason why the label why he want the reprint. Label stuck in the printer, or there are some other printers he can choose the reason and then reprint it. So labels get printed. So printing and reprinting operations happens in the. the uh, warehouse only rather than to go to the warehouse cabin uh, 25 30 meters away so user can themselves print the label take the label print out and then paste it on the uh, you know boxes now whole warehouse where exactly my material is what are the bin contained without going into system without going into terminal the user will be able to see it there is something called as the bin and qr scan now he has uh, the scan the material or label by using a material uh, qr labels or the bin wise now i do not have the uh, you know the handheld device or scanner so i will use the excel sheet here okay and this excel sheet uh, let's say i have scanned this material okay when i scan this material and then when i paste it enter it i will get all the information what is the po number what is the gr number so all a list a preceding document list i will get in fact if you want the batch number or some other information if you want asn number etc then we can configure it so as per the user requirement or as per the business requirement we can configure and uh, even the bin in the bin what exactly the materials uh, are so that also uh, we can know we will be able to know so what we have to do is just scan the bin and then uh, paste it here and we will get the material the bin contain this many material so in a warehouse without going into the system uh, the user will get everything he can print reprint and he can see what are the you can locate the material where exactly the materials are and what are the materials in the bin put away put away is also uh, you know he self free he will not have to go to the system migo transactions and 
no everything has go, go away now he can do everything in the mobile device so this is called as a mobile device if you want if you are using a tablet or if you are using a mobile device then we can change the screen size okay so this is the screen size basically so if i have let's say ipad mini i can have this ipad uh, menu if i have the uh, you know iphone se then it will take the shape even though if i want to change the screen size i can change it here so this is the one of the beauty of the mobile device you can customize as per the screen size now we are talking about the putting put away the materials now this is the gr leech and he want to put away so what he has to do says enter and the material scan as i said i do not have the uh, uh, rf device here to scan i will use the excel sheet this is the kind of the qr code okay this is the qr code and let's say i have scanned this qr code okay and i suppose i have scanned this okay system will tell me that you want to scan the individual label or you want to see normally when the material comes in a pallet there are four to five pallets there are two pallet four pallet five pallet if you want to keep everything in one bin then you can press yes if you can press no if you want to keep individual then you can press yes so let's say i am not keeping everything in the bin so it is uh, you know flag it then i have to scan the bin okay i am scanning the bin and i am entering here okay and put away so when i press put away that's it to put away uh, put away can be completed and this screen can be customized if you want the batch number or if you want the special information text message everything can be configured put away in the earlier uh, without handheld device or without uh, mobile device or without uh, rf screen what we used to do is we used to uh, do the migo transactions and migo transaction lot of screens are there plants and then take because ideally speaking the plant information why does the user need a plant information he has nothing to do with the plant because he knows in which plant he is working so see if you consider this then there is no plants and other information so other informations are masked but if you want that plant should be visible yes we can do that okay now single click put away that's it transfer order number if you have the warehouse management or if you have the uh, im system then material document number will be visible over here so gr he can print it using a mobile device so these are some of the application which we use in the media Device. good issue to cost center okay so for the cost center we create a reservation basically if we want to create a reservation electronically we have the option for that so all the reservation which are there in the system so he can get all the list okay again we have the uh, facility to assign the reservation number the warehouse uh, operator or where a supervisor sitting in a cabin can assign the reservation number in fact he can issue the message to the uh, warehouse worker who is speaking or who is performing the operation that these are the reservations or these are the high priority reservation so see this is a 201 could issue to cost center i can scan the material okay see i can scan the material then you will get a quantity the reservation let's say 75 okay and from which bin so bin number also i will get from which bin he has to pick so we we have the bins also bin list so he can scan the bin okay and uh, put it here okay and then you will get a message okay so if you want to type some message you can type it but this is optional basically so how many clicks that user has to do good issue to cost center one click the screen gets open material bin that's it and the tech that also if he wants and he can click issue button and then that's it the good issue to cost center happens using a mobile device we also have the good issue with reference to order so we have the production order we have the process order or maintenance order we can issue the goods against the order see all orders will be assigned to the user uh, based on the uh, uh, supervisor and once because every order has the reservation so whether it is a maintenance order 
or process order or production order reservation is back end created so user will get the information of the reservation as well as the order number and he doesn't have to carry the pick list with him everything will be displayed here what he has to do is he has to click see he is not scanning anything here because he will get the order and then he has to scan the material so if i want uh, uh, to scan the materials i will scan the material here okay and then uh, we'll get the required quantity because this is the production quantity so i can add uh, 75 even i can add here 60 quantity which is not available system will throw an error message for that that you have not or error message or the you know warning message depending upon how your system is set bin he can scan is from which bin he is uh, he wants to take the material he will scan the bin he has an option to select the bin uh, whereby this material is available using this tab so you will get uh, all the bin list of bins the materials are available in the bin and you will have the expiry date or manufacturing date also in the bin uh, it's all the, the user choice atom test also he can write and uh, that's it you will have to just issue the goods okay and then good issue to the process order at production order is done so we have this application uh, we also have the plant transfer we also have the physical inventory physical inventory is the main part which is a pain area nowadays for all warehouses thousands of bin has to scan so we can use the rfid okay we can scan the bin uh, all the bins at once using rfid provided it has a one pallet or certain uh, restriction certain constraint uh, so we can use the RFID for that. If we do not use the RFID and there are thousands of material, we can scan it. But normally, uh, the posting the transaction is uh, uh, you know limited with the FI people or FICO people, a special person which is not given to the warehouse guys uh, because of the legal constraint. Physical inventory, once we create it in the system or we can create by scanning, we'll get uh, and we want to assign this physical inventory document to the user we can assign it he has to go to the physical inventory document he has to scan the material so we can have the scanning the material uh, from which bin he has to pick the material uh, that also system will guide or uh, mm, we have uh, or we can provide him uh, option also that uh, this material is available in which bin if it is a physical inventory okay so this is the bin and uh, then he can scan the material for the confirmation coin the quantity if it is zero quantity he can press zero because uh, there is no material let's say uh, he can also count the quantity or if say there is no uh, count quantity zero and that's it's confirmed so counting is done okay confirmed but posting transaction normally we don't do in an rf device or the mobile device because as i said the authorization uh, is depends on the uh, because there are legal constraints normally the warehouse operator is not given the authorization so he will just count the physical in documents and then it's we can also configure the workflow that the finance guy will get uh, information uh, that physical inventory has been done then he has to post it okay so this is all about uh, our flp and then fiori launchpad uh, application uh, warehouse management application so uh, now uh, the question Paul uh, uh, now forum is open question, yes uh, we will yes. start with the question and answers so uh, I'll read out the question uh, the first question we have from Naveen is on uh, let me know any customer or company who have taken this solution from agricultural manufacturer companies or agricultural implements manufacturer or tractor. Yes, uh, we have, uh, you know, implemented solution to many places and many customers, many industries, pharmaceutical, non-pharmaceutical, agricultural, yes, uh, uh, currently we have the customers and then uh, we are uh, being discussed uh, regarding the solution. So the name I cannot disclose, but you can contact us and then we will provide you information. Uh, then we have question from uh, Hanos. Uh, which countries in Asia do you provide solution for? 
we can provide solution for all it depends on what kind of warehouse you have uh, as i explain if you have the sales and distributions or we have the custom warehouse or you have the uh, typically production warehouse so india uh, then uh, all asia pacific countries we can provide and we have the existing that us also us north america or africa so we can provide the solution to all countries so there is no bar that which countries we can provide the solution to uh, all countries also navneet is asking the meaning of tco reduction in tco uh see we will get back to you uh, the production in tco there are uh, various meanings of tcos but in what context you need uh, so we'll provide you more information of that there there are various contexts so uh, you can contact us and then we'll provide you the uh, answers and uh, then again from navin any customer reference from agricultural implements i think this is answered uh, then from ganesh joshi uh, what is the recurring cost of passive rfid have yes. you integrated anywhere in uh, microsoft uh, navishan erp uh see as i said rfid is a two type active and passive so uh, active rfid is very costly because it has its own power supply and passive rfid is not uh, uh, you know costly but if you want a cost then it depends upon your warehouse operation if you have uh, let's say steel industries where there are the steel drums and the metallic uh, object then of course we'll have to suggest because as i said we can also visit your warehouse we see what kind of operation you are performing liquid operation and accordingly we can suggest a passive uh, rfid uh, as i said we have the tie up with uh, our partnership with the zebra we can also come along with the zebra and provide you the cost so all depends on the your warehouse uh, operation metallic non metallic liquid or dangerous operations or what kind of thing so accordingly we can suggest okay now when is asking we have fences erp a customized erp software is it compatible with it ideally yes uh, if you have the customized erp operations then it is compatible our solution is compatible so we will need to study what kind of operation you have and we have other solution also irp so for example in your customized erp operation you are performing the operations or the transaction manually then we can implement an irp is automated so based on the trigger uh, we can implement irp majorly we are supporting sap but non sap then we will have to think it will uh, you can get you can come back to us and then we will study and then provide a solution uh, navneet is asking full form of flp a uh, fury launch pad see flp is a fury launch pad uh, which we use uh, it is our terminology so flp is fury launch pad Uh, ramakanta is asking the cost of implementation approximate yes of course the cost of implementation normally our rf uh, we are using uh, um, mobile application we are implementing mobile application so uh, as far as the cost part concern uh, one thing i would like to tell you the implementation is nowhere between it, it is between somewhere 4 to 6 month or 3 to 4 month depending upon the uh, your uses or depending upon the type of process as far as the cost concern uh, of course as this is a common forum we are not uh, we should know we will not uh, supposed to disclose it uh, but uh, it is not too costly like what we implement the uh, uh, you know uh, complete s4 hana so it's not too costly because uh, we are focusing on uh, app development uh, so cost we are not disclose but you can come back to us and write to us then depending upon your uh, uh business processes and to how, how many warehouse what are your users so basically what we do normally when the customer comes to us then we provide them a questionnaires what kind of warehouse you have okay how many users you are uh, how many user license required 15 user license 30 user license 100 user license so depend upon the user or usability and business process the cost varies Again, Navneet is asking, uh, can production order be booked using this FLP uh, course, to yes. mobile device? Presently, we are using a uh, C O one one N and M I G O. Okay, so currently you are using C O one one N. That is the production order creation, and uh, you are confirming the production order. 
uh, of course we can use the mobile devices to uh, you know book the uh, your production order so as uh, we have uh, uh, we are using a mobile device which is integrated with the fury if you are fury enabled then we can take it into mobile and our mobile devices can uh, talk with uh, your sap system using o data service and we can call uh, your production order uh, uh, transaction using mobile device Uh, then Rama Kanta is asking for pharma warehouse manufacturing warehouse. I don't know what exactly is asking. So, yes, pharma. We have uh, implemented uh, our solution to pharmaceuticals. Number of pharmaceutical companies, and we have uh, capability of pharmaceutical implementation based on the uh, user size uh, uh, or the based on the turnover size. if you have 250 to 500 user more than 500 user more than 1000 user our uh, we have the ready apps for that so we can also implement a mobile device as well as we can implement the uh, end to end s4 hana then nitin is asking how fury can be used for put ways uh, with barcode label uh, we have the mobile application okay so uh, mobile application as i said there are uh, three types uh, web based mobile application or ui5 what we call it as ui5 which is integrated with the fury system we also have the android uh, native android which is specific to definite uh, to specific technology for example if you are using android technology we can develop android if you have the ios we can develop the android system so uh, our mobile device is compatible to all no matter whether it is a fury or uh, 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 any other uh, technology platform but a basic backend it should be sap uh, rajesh is asking can we reuse the passive rfid uh, passive rfid no because it goes to the customer active rfid has its own power supply okay and uh, we can reuse it and passive rfid has no power supply so normally what we do in case of the distribution warehouse whereby we are uh, you know uh, uh, sending this to uh, the customer so uh, normally we don't uh, reuse it but if we want to reuse it then we have the uh, possibility for that so yes so before will... uh, so before hmm. uh, issuance of the material before outwarding of the material from the warehouse you have to just remove that for uh, that particular hmm. rfid but the uh, reusable rfid having the cost uh, more than the regular rfid right and if you want a customer issue then of course it is cannot be reused mm -hmm. uh, nitin is asking uh, also palletization can be done through fury with barcode label so yes yes palletization can be done with the fury barcode label uh, depending upon your business requirement uh, because in the demo i showed you the uh, pallets the inbound pallet let's say we have uh, you know one pallet 100 quantities and if you want to split the quantity into number of pallet we can do that mobile we can do everything all the operation which is happening in sap we can call all the transaction in the mobile apps and we have to just call the uh, services from the sap we can do that sandeep is asking have you provided rfid solution to any heavy metal or steel manufacturing company yes our talk is going on in one of the heavy metal and steel companies and uh, uh, but they have the constraint uh, that Uh, they have active uh, active rfid uh, which is very costly okay so some constraints are there but we have the solution for that we can use the passive rfid and heavy metal industry of course you are uh, you know lifting the material uh, using a forklift uh, heavy lift and to mount the antenna and an rfid reader is bit a challenge so there uh, should be little bit of design changes and then we can suggest a solution using uh, our zebra partner okay rajesh is asking the warehouse management license is mandatory for the implementation right you are right warehouse management license is mandatory if you are using s4 hana systems then uh, warehouse management license is uh, mandatory or you have the out of the box capability of ewm system where the license is not mandatory but if you have the decentralized system then again the license uh, it's not an embedded so wms license part is mandatory for s4 system s4 hana uh, yes. 
but yeah. yes wm is not implemented we are having that capacity to do the end to end implementation and uh, other than that if you want to go with the im yes we are having the same uh, solution for the im also yes so you don't have to buy the license right because it's a, a out of the box capability yeah right Rama is asking, what would be the cost of one user ID license? Uh, again, it depends upon the uh, this costing part. Our sales team will get back to you. So this is a, a general forum. So the cost factor, if you want, then you can get back to us. Uh, Nikita will provide you the ID, and our sales team will be able to tell you this. Uh, then we have two questions from Navin. Uh, please share tentative implementation timeline from day one. And the next is, are the barcode plates uh, temper proof? Yes. Uh, as I said, the implementation time is uh, anywhere between the four month to six month, uh, depending upon the uh, your uh, business processes. But we have the ready to uh, you know provide the applications and. Normally, what we observe is so far, uh, there is uh, 40 to 60 percent, uh, uh, you know, application satisfied your need, and we have the 30 to uh, 25 to 30 percent customization required. So, if your business process is totally different than the standard, then of course the customization will be more. So, accordingly, our cost will vary. And uh, RFID, uh, normally once it is fixed. Uh, RFID tag or the reader, uh, then it is not tampered. It is basically the stable because cost is more. And if it is costly, then its durabilities and uh, its uh, accuracy, durabilities and precision is ensured. Then Mithin is asking how Fury can help for cycle count. Yes, Fury can help you the cycle count. Uh, basically, the Fury. You have the apps for the cycle count in the Fury, standard Fury S4 HANA, whereby you can perform the cycle counts using the Fury app, but there is no scanning over there. Okay. The solution what we provide you is a mobile scanning. So what we have to do is we can scan all your uh, bins at once using RFID. Okay. So there are two parts. RFID, of course, at once we can scan and using our barcode scanner, the warehouse operator has to scan every bin, okay, and then enter the count. That's it. Everything will be, you know, uh, assembled and then outputted in your SAP. What is the scan quantity? What is the book quantities? And what is the difference? And then you will get list of all the differences. So you can provide the cycle counts or physical inventory for only those uh, particular uh, differences as far as cycle counting part concern if you are mean for a b c analysis then of course uh, we have the capability for that because normally for a b c analysis you execute the reports and you will get uh, inventory uh, so in our uh, mobile device uh, we can take that inventory number and perform the physical inventory but as such fury as per my understanding there is no scanning uh, Rajesh is asking, will uh, the app is uh, need to develop separately for each vendor or the uh, default app is available to all the modules? As I said, we have the apps uh, uh, put away and then inventory management app. So we can develop as per your need. Around 70 to 80 percent needs gets fulfilled and we need a customization for 20 to 30 percent. Because every user has or every company has different user requirement. For example, if I say that I have the app which print out the label, then it will not fulfill because it is batch managed. And if you do not use the batch managed, then we'll have to uh, make certain changes. Put away processes is different. You have the bins or uh, somebody is using not using the bin storage location, then we'll have to make a change. So normally there is a 20 to 30 percent customization and then 70 percent or 60 percent apps is ready to use. Oh, okay. And Benit is asking, uh, is there any program come best automation for uh, lifestyle uh, merchandise sales written case of multiple SKU to handle discrepancies and credit note to customer? Okay. So you are you have asked multiple multiple question credit notes and then also everything is possible. So uh, you can come back to us and contact our sales teams and then we'll uh, would uh, definitely interesting to uh, know more about your requirement. 
and then we'll get back to you and tell how our apps is uh, you know optimized again then it is asking since we are using sap but our customer especially sis lfs channels and other as will written back without primary invoice number okay uh, i'm sorry i did not understand this question properly maybe you can uh, get in touch with our uh, team and know your exact requirement and we'll provide you try to provide you the solution okay uh, parshuram is asking how it will help to monitor for inventory okay inventory monitoring apps there are uh, uh, many apps flp apps fiori launchpad apps uh, fiori apps so we can activate this uh, uh, fiori apps and you can monitor the inventory uh, that how, what are the uh, how many materials which are the uh, uh, you know the inventory lies in how many days uh, older days or uh, you know the latest uh, inventory what are the expiry date manufacturing date everything can be managed in sap uh, fiori launchpad or fiori apps however our mobile application has the capability it's a mobile application so what we can do is to manage the inventory we can scan any bin we can scan any material and we'll know what is the inventory of this material so that we can do in mobile apps so i think that was a last question for today uh, so if any uh, of your questions are not answered i'm putting the email address contact at craveinfotech.com uh you can contact us uh, on this email so uh, the session was very interactive i hope uh, everyone it was a learning for everyone and thank you so we'll close the session thanks everyone thanks thanks a lot thank you melin thank you nikhil thank you thank you thank yeah, thanks thank everyone you. Yeah. thank you thank you so we'll end the session have a good day